Hello there, Chris Heilman with a quick trick how to use data attributes to show things on game sprites or anything else really, just introducing what data attributes might be about. So this here is a, uh, a little sprite for a game. So I have div class sprite, I give it a background image, which is a sprite sheet, I give it dimensions and I position the, uh, the sprite sheet the right way. I also position it on the screen so you can actually see it better here rather than being glued up there. I also got myself a reference already in JavaScript to the character to actually get something there and do it later on. So if you wanted to show, for example, now the score of the player next to it, the normal thing to do would be to just put a, sp a span or something in there with a class of score and position it absolutely out of it. But the problem with that is that I found that accessing it in JavaScript is annoying because you need actually two references for two HTML points. And accessing it in CSS is as well a problem because you have to access another class so you actually add more things to your CSS without needing to. So instead, what I'm using is data attributes. So if I uh, say data score equals 100 here, nothing happens in the HTML because it's not being displayed. But we can display it with CSS by using generated content. So I can now say sprite uh, after should be the content of the attribute. So the content is attribute data dash score and out of a sudden the 100 of our values are shown here. I then position it outside of the character so it's actually nicer. Position absolute and give it a top of uh, 40 pixels and then it shows the score next to it or actually make it a top of like minus 20 pixels or minus 10 pixels so you can see the score next to the character right now. You can also just hide that one and make it only appear on hover by just giving an opacity. And if you then do a sprite hover after and set the opacity to one, you can just show it when you're rolling over the character. In Firefox, you can even transition this. So there's a transition right now without a, a prefix. So you can say two seconds. So the score would fade in slowly and fade out slowly instead of just popping out. This is not possible in others because uh, generated content is not transitioned, but it doesn't really matter because in other browsers it would just pop out rather than just being displayed here. So the other really good thing about that one is, is that I not only can access this data attribute in CSS, but I have full access on it in JavaScript. So instead of needing another handle to a score span inside there, all I have to do to read that out is do a character data set uh, score. And I can set this differently here. So I, if I set this to 30 right now and I roll over, you see that the score is now 30 rather than 100. I can also just alert it out and know what the score is at the moment. And if I run this now here, then I will see that the score is 100 because that's how it is defined. So this is really, really useful because I can change these things on the fly and my display changes automatically without me having to write inner HTML into another span element or something like that. And the other cool thing is that I can actually have a selector that tests uh, the value of it. Um, in, H in CSS3 there was a proposed thing called contains, which actually would read out the text content of a span like that and style it accordingly. This has been de deprecated, but it's still in jQuery. But uh, with this one I can do that easily. So if I now want to say if the score is 10 and I want to do the score in red then instead of black, all I have to do in the CSS is to, do, uh, is to put a selector on the sprite itself. So I can say sprite if data score equals 10, then the after text should be in red rather than in black. So color, make it a C00, which is a nice dark red. So if I now roll over here, nothing happens, of course. But if I change this to 10, then actually it changes here to a red 10. I can also do that in JavaScript, of course, where I can say character dataset score equals 10. And then it should do the same thing. So let's try that one out. And actually it's the 10 again in red. 
So data sets are actually really, really useful because they can access from CSS and they can access from JavaScript and it's easy to actually do something with them. The only problem we have with them right now is that Internet Explorer does not support them. There's a few polyfills available, but not to a full extent. So it's a real shame that something as basic as that in HTML5 is not supported across all browsers yet. But it's something to think about when you write your next game or you just do a little icon with like how many emails are being read. Because the access to dataset and the access with the attribute selectors here and with the attribute values here is really, really useful. So play with that and have a go.